Hey guys, uh, today's discussion would be all about Upwork. So, medyo taglish to. Um, kasi hindi ko minsan may mga words ako hindi ko ma-explain sa Tagalog. And then either way around. So, okay, Upwork. What is Upwork? Upwork is, uh, is like a job marketplace where clients who need tasks to be done will meet freelancers who wants to work for a given task or job. So, for clients to register on Upwork, they need to set up a client account, of course. Same way goes as freelancers, so it's the same thing around. Um, for more details, just go to their website directly. That's uh, www.upwork.com. You just need to have a valid email address, and please make sure to register your uh, legal name. When I say legal, the one that is on your NSO, the one that is on your birth certificate and sort of those stuff. Why? Because if you're going to use a pseudonym or any pen name or something like that, you'll have uh, problems if ever you get you end up getting a job and then you're going to link it to your local bank or your PayPal. So it will mess up everything. So I highly suggest um, putting your legal names. You don't worry about the security of uh, this website since it's really secured and it's really legit. So all your informations are saved on their database. So Upwork, um, based on my experience, Upwork has been a constant provider for tasks that can be easily done for me. So when I started two years ago, um, whenever I have like four to five hours free time on a, on a daily basis. I get bored playing computer games and all, all those stuff. You know, I jump into this website, look for jobs that suits me, and, you know, apply for it, submit a proposal, and go from there. So, definitely at the end of the day, uh, the four to five hours that I'm, that I'm not using for anything, I tend to, you know, use it on a much more... Uh, valuable aspect in terms of completing a task for a certain client and you know getting your profile as well um, updated by means of you know collecting stars or feedbacks from the clients that you work with so the main focus why I'm actually discussing this one is the five common reasons why your profile get rejected two years ago guys this topic was never actually an issue so every time you sign up for upwork automatically you get approved you get the chance to do um to be on the on the marketplace marketplace meaning to say um jobs that are available that, that uh, clients are looking for workers sort of those stuff but right now it's kind of different way so when you apply for this upwork there are certain levels that you need to complete first before you get approved and for you to enter the uh, the market area or the marketplace for you to get jobs. Now, I'll be discussing five common reasons why your profile will be rejected in Upwork. So let's get started. Now, before I do that, I will just want to explain things here for you. Um, so on your profile itself, you will be given a chance as well to update your profile just like creating a Facebook or an Instagram you know you need to update your profile uh, place a photo decent photo same way goes with this website Upwork so uh, let's discuss the uh, the parts of the profile so on this section you have the name um, it's it's more on a first name basis and then the the first initial of your last name the location that you are uh, this is the completion stuff and here uh, the, the the circle one will be your photo this would be your job title the the real estate management slash transaction coordinator and this one would be your overview sort of like a summary of what you do your experiences and all those stuff this part is your video while at the bottom portion would be your earnings jobs hours work and you know your hourly rate so so that you'll not get confused i mean you could just go to google and then type it out i mean there's a lot of pictures out there 
I mean, this one is for my profile, and you know, I, I'm not saying that you need to to follow the standard formats, but it's it's more likely my suggestion. Uh, you know, I, I'm just I'm just saying that this might be helpful for you. I'm not saying that it's applicable for everyone, but I, um, I mean, to tell you honestly, I'm not an expert, so I'm just saying I'm just relaying my experiences. Uh, I mean, experience as a uh, freelancer or a work at home professional. So first things first, we'll focus more on photos. So this is one of the common reasons why your profile get rejected. So guys, you you created a profile here in Upwork, not to mingle with anyone, not to get clients and then fall in love with them uh, in the latter run. So basically, you are here to look for a job. So the platform is expecting a professional individual who would like to find a work to have a f professional photo. So side view photos, photos with weird backgrounds, all those stuff, you know, the, I mean, you know what professional photo means, right? You need to smile, you need to you look professional like your outfit and stuff. So you need to present yourself because you will be working virtually clients will not meet you not unless you do a, a video call uh, on an interview or something like that but they don't have time for it like I said like I've discussed on my previous videos the main reason why you will be hired or the main reason why clients are looking for assistance is they don't have the luxury of time that's where you come in so basically photo you need to have a professional photo not a photo side view um, not a weird background, not a distorted image. No, no, no. You need to have a professional photo. Just like applying in a local company here in the Philippines. So, of course, they are expecting you to have a professional resume, right? Copy-paste resume will automatically be put into trash. I mean, of course, for, for call centers, maybe, I don't, I don't know, but... But if you're looking for a, a company here in the Philippines and your resume is really that ugly, they won't even entertain you for an initial interview. So that's based on my, my peers' uh, experiences, not me, because I've never applied for a local company before. Uh, not, uh, I mean, I apply for call centers. Um, I wasn't a call center agent before, but for local companies like, um, let's say, like law firm or sort of those stuff, you know what I mean. So, again, first is the photo. You should need to have a professional photo. Second one, we have the job title. Again, the job title section is located just below your photo. So, basically, it would be really nice if you can be more specific on your job title. Why? Upwork would actually check whether, uh, I mean, by the time you you type in and click on the update button, um, the job title portion would actually be the reference of Upwork to, to gauge whether uh, that specific field is overpopulated already. Let's say virtual assistant. So what type of virtual assistant are you? So be more specific so I'm a real estate virtual assistant you can put that or be more specific what type of real estate virtual assistant are you are you I'm a lead coordinator so lead coordinator that's a more specific um, job title um, same way goes with if you are on the acquisition side of things or the disposition side of things don't worry about it guys I know it's uh, the term itself is I mean you're not familiar with the term but we're gonna discuss it uh, on my real estate video which will be quite long since I'll be covering uh, all about real estate in just one video so stay tuned to that again on this job title it will be more it would be ideal if you be if you'll be more specific on your job title not just I'm a VA because there's a lot of VAs going on right so you got it here job title all right the next one would be overview so I consider overview as a crucial part of the profile simply because that's where your 
clients or your potential clients will spend most of the time not just by seeing not unless you're so beautiful or you're so handsome and your clients like really amazed at how beautiful you are or how how nice is your eyes is so basically no they'll they'll spend most of their time reading your overview so for me overview just need i mean there are like a lot of i mean a lo- i've a, i've read a lot of overviews actually short and long overviews and you know kind of brief overviews but i, I really prefer brief uh brief why i mean if a client would actually check on your profile and when they check the overview of of your profile and then they'll see it on the front of their usually they check uh, they, I mean, they, they check your profile on their phone. So imagine if the, the size of the screen would actually would would not fit, or it's if it's too short, or if it's too long. I mean, y- you know what I'm saying, right? It, it should be just brief enough for them. Just point out the initial, the the most the most relevant about your experience, what you can bring to the table, and the things that you you've been working on as of the moment. So that's all for me. Um, as you can see here on my overview, um, I only have like three paragraphs, and I I, I wouldn't consider it as a, far, a paragraph because on the first part here, it's only two sentences. You see, I'm a transaction coordinator with three years of experience in the real estate world. I started as a lead coordinator who gauges uh, sales motivation, compete for ARV with estimated repairs and schedule an appointment for a sales associate to seal the deal. So basically it's like two sentences. So I wouldn't consider that as a paragraph, you know. Uh, but the thing is that I, I make sure to I make sure that the the first paragraph is more on my past experiences. Just chunk it up. And then the next paragraph would be more on the things that I am still working on right now. So I took part on the disposition side of the transaction wherein I coordinate with title company requesting for property report, file a notice of interest and and set seller's expectation about entire process. Also, I generate cash buyers and investors through Facebook and advertising sites like back pages and Craigslist. So that's what I'm currently doing at this point. So I'm more engaged on the disposition side of things. And lastly, for my last paragraph, or actually the last sentence is, I maintain our social media accounts by posting relevant ads that target our preferred audience. It creates more engagement and increase our online visibility. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm, you know, learning Facebook stuff. I'm not really a fan of Facebook, to be honest with you. But I'm kind of learning it. I'm on a curve. Uh, I'm on my learning curve right now, trying to check whether you know uh, all all the the ins and outs of social media. So uh, let's help one another. Uh, uh, you learn from me, and I'll learn from you. So if you have any ideas, comment below. All right. So much for the overview. So again, it should be brief, brief overview. Okay. Make it. Sh- make sure that the clients will just read all the chunky words that that is on your uh overview fort one let's discuss about the fort one fort one would be you have no video especially for newbies and beginners like you don't have any experience at all so how come clients i mean clients would actually have like 50 50 chance of you know uh, getting yourself hired i mean you as a freelancer uh, simply because they don't have any reference to refer to you. Yes, you are a graduate. Yes, you have been in a call center for seven years, but you can just create it. Come on, you can just copy paste it somewhere else and then put it on, uh, put it on on Upwork or up upload it as one or claim it as one of your experiences, right? So anybody can do that right now. Photoshops are everywhere. So wh- what I'm trying to say here is that if you don't have any video, how how will they know? If you speak well in English, how will they know if what you're saying is true or it's a fact? I mean, most of the time, videos would actually be more, um, shall I say, 
it's it's gonna be more convincing compared with the overview just to be honest with you i myself doesn't have any video at all but like i said i've used upwork a year ago I, right now i'm not okay i'm just relaying this one to you because by the time maybe i'll be uploading my video in upwork and getting some jobs for myself in the future but right now it's uh, i'm i'm not gonna you know i'm gonna uh, i'm not just I still have a job right now so um, I'm pretty much contented about it so yes going back to that you need to have a video a maybe professional video explaining what you can bring to the table like it's more on explaining yourself it should it can be like one or uh, less than two minutes uh, less than two minutes like it I mean sharing your experiences um, what what you can offer uh, to your potential clients if ever if ever you get you get hired sort of those stuff so it should have I mean you should have video especially if you're a newbie or a beginner okay so the next one would be next and the last one would be test so upon the completion of your profile um, you have an option to to take test or before it will be completed you have an option to to take test so the most crucial ones are upwork readiness test so basically all the uh, all the basic information are actually in Google so check it out if you if you wanna uh, if you wanna review about it before taking it or if you're confident in the, uh, enough on your tech skills uh, basically yeah you can jump right into it but it would be really nice or it would be really smart if you could you know just be prepared and work things out in terms of uh, getting high score with the uh, readiness test so the second for me is and the most valuable uh, because I'm targeting US clients you know um, because I, I wanna get a dollar rate so of course uh, I wanna use their universal language which is English so I prefer English profic uh, proficiency exams so any anything about English like um, probably spelling dictionary I mean probably pronunciation or different all all tests about English yeah um, you need to spend time on it as well and the third and the last test would be test related to your job um, this one would actually help you or help clients know that hey you hype up on this uh, or you you got high score on this exam so meaning to say he, I mean, the one that he's indicating on his overview and on his video is actually true because uh, there's like proof that you get a high score in this specific exam, which is related to your job title. So um, you have like sort of like proof um, that you're not just saying that you have this skill even if you you don't. So, yep, taking ex uh, taking tests is probably the route that you should be doing uh, before completing your profile so uh, to summarize yep uh, that's it five common reasons uh, number one your photo is not that professional number two your job title is not spe specific or not specified at all uh, overview that would be short or way too long uh, you, and, uh, and the fourth one would be you don't have any video to increase your credibility and number five which is the test uh, you, you, you don't uh, take test to complete your profile so once your profile is completed you will get a hundred percent score here as you can see here in the mid part uh, mid portion of the page and then by the time you have a stunning um, profile you will be invited for interviews even though you didn't submit any proposal at it uh, at all so that's uh, an advantage and basically by the time you uh, submitted a proposal to a job post you get a higher chance of being interviewed as you can see here on accepted proposals at the bottom portion so here we go guys um, this is a payment for, for three months I just want to share it to you because this is my short term and short term goal way back before. Right, that's what that was like uh, my first year going to my second year uh, of freelancing. So, 
uh, yeah, it's like almost half, um, half a million. Um, but then again, I just want, I'm not saying this one, uh, I mean, I'm not showing this one just to, to boost uh, you guys. I'm just sharing the opportunity that you can get out of working online as a virtual assistant, okay? The more skills you learn, the higher your rate, the, the higher you can demand for your rate, more uh, commissions for you as well and you know um, you could get financial st uh, financial stability and like me i can just work like three weeks uh three i mean no 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 i i let me get that back i can just work uh depending on what my client needs and we can i can just easily get uh you know uh, a vacation if i don't want to work at a certain point of time so it's it's gonna be uh for me it it's much more easier compared to a corporate style simply because in a corporate style gonna submit it to a supervisor so supervisor submit it to uh, his manager manager would actually submit it to what whatever whatever that the higher ops would be before you get approved but on on working online you just need to talk to your client one email away one phone call away and if he says no then no if he says yes it then that's that's a convenient way of saying, you know, it will really depend on you um, on how you can communicate with your client. But uh, I'm going to create a video for that as well on how you can effectively, you know, uh, leverage uh, what you can do and then demand for a day off. So that's a separate one. So if you like this video, guys, um, no, I, I hope you find this uh, video helpful and relevant uh, as you as you take the uh, the freelance uh, journey with me and if you like this video please uh, go ahead and cl um, click on the the like button and if you do have any questions i would really love your feedback put it on the uh, comment section below i'll try my best to answer that on my on my available time and this video actually will be posted to our facebook group which is professional uh, online workers that's POW mentorship program uh, our mentorship group uh, it's it's actually on the pin um, pin group section of our page so if you want to join us there uh, just you know just go to our page and um, uh, click on the join button and it would be really nice if you guys could share the video share it with your friends your family who wants to you know uh, be educated on the opportunities that the internet has at this point so uh, thank you so much for your time guys and i'll see you on my next video